Okay, well, back in November, I uploaded a video called Roblox sued a YouTuber, and that was not clickbait, that was not misleading, that was not even slightly stretching the truth, because since then, Roblox has been suing a YouTuber known as Ruben Sim. And today, we have very big news regarding that. We have a massive update. So before I show you everything that's currently going on with that situation, I would first like to say, please leave a like on this video and subscribe. I mean, whether you watched my video about that, whether you watched someone else's video about that, or whether you've just been keeping up with this news on Twitter, I'm pretty sure that everyone watching this video right now and the majority of people in the entire Roblox community knows exactly what is going on with the Ruben Sim situation, or at least they knew that Roblox was going to sue him. And like I said, I uploaded that video back in November, so back in November was when we first heard anything about this, and since then then we haven't really had any news, we've had no new information about this until recently, just a couple of days ago, I opened Twitter and I noticed that a lot of people were tweeting with the hashtag, hashtag free Ruben Sim, and I'm pretty sure at one point it was very, very close to becoming trending on Twitter. And well, just imagine, the last thing I saw about Roblox suing Ruben Sim was back in November, and during that, everyone was reacting negatively towards the YouTubers side and then suddenly I opened up Twitter to the RTC tweeting a poll saying do you agree with the hashtag free Ruben Sim movement? 63.6% of people voted yes, 17.9% of people voted no, and then 18.5% of people voted kind of. So that is the majority of people either kind of agreeing with this or fully 100% agreeing with this. So from that alone I kind of assumed that I missed something massive and when I went to the channel of Ruben Sim, I noticed that two days ago he uploaded a video called Roblox is suing me for 1.6 million dollars. And I mean, right now that's coming up to 1 million views in those two days that this video has been uploaded. So I think it's safe to assume that that is where the whole hashtag free Ruben Sim thing is coming from. So I think at some point I do need to watch that video. I guess considering how many people have switched sides, I can only imagine that there is something very important within that video. But as of right now, the thing we are talking about today is I think 12 hours ago at the time I'm recording this video, Bloxy News put out an update regarding the whole Roblox suing Ruben Sim situation and said that the lawsuit has been settled. And as it stands right now, as a result of this entire thing, I'm pretty sure Ruben Sim is no longer allowed to access Roblox whatsoever and must also stay 100 feet away from any Roblox office, facility or residence and obviously with now not being able to access the Roblox website whatsoever, no matter what, that also means that he can no longer create Roblox content. But if you remember from the first video that I made about this, or if you watched someone else's video, you would know that this entire time Roblox has pretty much been pushing for every social media that he had. So they wanted to delete his channel, his Twitter account, but now that this has ended and it has been settled, they've come to an agreement and he is allowed to keep all of that. And I guess also also no longer has to pay the $1.6 million that Roblox was suing him for. So yeah, almost two months after the first time that we talked about this or the first time we saw anything about this and that is the only updates that we have on this, that is the only new information we have on this. So basically it's settled, they've come to an agreement, nothing more is going to come from this I can imagine. But here's the thing that I'm interested in, a lot of people in the replies are still hating on Ruben Sim and then I noticed that people will keep coming in and replying to those replies saying, to watch his new video about this because that will probably change their minds. So I guess I'm kind of curious to see what's going on within that video but as of right now that is this quick little update about something that we talked about two months ago. But of course as always, I want to know your opinions on this. What do you think about the way that this entire situation has ended? Because it seemed very extreme to begin with and now obviously I think the way it ended is something that pretty much no one could have predicted. So one more time please and make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the love and support that you guys give me and you know what? It helps me out a lot. But I'm think of a Roblox suing this YouTuber but now actually they have settled it and they have come to an agreement. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.